Oh my, is there an art historian in the house? I'm having an art attack. The mid-1600s was artist Gian Lorenzo Bernini's prime during the early Italian Baroque era, but the piece that set him apart from the rest was his sculpture, The Ecstasy of St. Teresa, a sculpture that displays magnificent grandeur. It's a life-size marble statue located above the altar in the Carnero Chapel in Rome. Gian Lorenzo Bernini was born in 1598 as a prominent Italian artist. He was a triple threat, a painter, an architect, and a sculptor. Some of his prominent works include Apollo and Daphne and St. Peter's Baldachin. Both of these works embrace the lack of negative space, causing the viewer to go around and walk around the piece. In 1647, Bernini began to fabricate his masterpiece. Created from 1647 to 1652, the sculpture represents an episode from the Diary of St. Teresa and depicts her visions of God. Above her is a seraph, or a god stand-in. What are those spike things above her, you ask? Those are said to represent the rays of God blessing her. If I were a guy, she would definitely be my ray of sunshine. I mean, look at the light reflecting off her body. Not only did Bernini fabricate these rays, but the church also has a hidden window that casts light up onto the statue, as if from the Holy Spirit. Teresa's bare foot is reminiscent of the Discalced, or Shoeless Carmelites, the religious order Teresa herself founded. The arrangement of the sculpture demonstrates Bernini's extraordinary ability to depict religious subjects in beautiful and dramatic ways. What adds to the drama is the carving of the marble. Look at the clouds beneath her. The rough texture on the clouds compared to Teresa's smooth texture on her face and her drapery is the prime of this work. What makes Bernini, Bernini the sculptor? The sculpture was highly controversial in that St. Teresa is presented as both spiritual and sexual, so much so that it's hard to distinguish one from the other upon viewing. Look at the way she swims in ecstasy. It's only logical that it would be a problem. But what does that ecstasy even mean? Why would Bernini create such a thing for a church? Well, taking a closer look at the display around the sculpture as a whole, the meaning all comes together. On the floor is a clear symbol of death. Look how creepy it is. Up above, the light entering the church is a symbol of God himself. So in between, you have the ecstasy of life. To clarify for those who thought so, she is not having an orgasm, although that is a topic of discussion, especially today. The sculpture has been celebrated by the Catholic Church, who has captioned it the mother of spirituality. It has been widely praised as a religious masterpiece. Bernini went full force, making one of the most beautiful sculptures of the Baroque era, and it followed the similar trend of beautiful women. With this beauty of a sculpture, the legacy of St. Teresa lives on forever.